have an action figure by Mattel for the Batman Begins movie. So let's do a quick 360 of the box packaging. So we're ready to take the figure out of packaging. As for accessories, we have the Gotham PD evidence bag and the Batman Begins Batarang. This figure stands at around 6 inches including the top of the bat ears. So let's do a quick 360 of the base figure. So we don't have any accessories on this figure that he could hold on. Okay, so let us take a look at the articulation points and at the same time the details of this action figure. So even if it is an older figure, there's really a lot of details on this action figure that really makes it likable. So let's start with the head unit. So even if those eye sockets are really darkened out, we still see the visible um, eyes of Bruce Wayne. So for head articulation points left and right uh, motion we also have looking up and looking down we also have for the body cut on the diaphragm so that is also the details on the body armor so forward bends backward bends not much it's just going to be more on the forward bends and we have a cut on the waistline for rotation of the waistline so that is the details on the utility belt for Batman and let's go towards the articulation point and the details on the arms so the arms we have the poses possible full rotation of the arms is also possible the cape does not really hinder the articulation of the arms we have a cut on the bicep for rotation of the bicep single point of articulation for the elbow and that is the detail on the gauntlets or the arm for arm protectors we don't have a hinge for the hand and that is just for articulation of the hands it's just rotation but for both handsets they are accessory holding hands so if you ever have any but extra batarangs in your parts bin then you could accessorize this action figure so let's move towards the details on the legs of the action figure and the articulation points so forward motion sideways motion a cut on the thigh for rotation of the thigh which is on the lower um, end of the thigh we also have a single point of articulation or bend for the knee we have a hinge for the foot but we don't have any rocker motion for the foot but all over the details on this action figure is really rich including that boot set so the sole this is the sole of the boots so that is the details and you could even see the butt hailing unit that is embedded on the soles of the boots so for a figure that was released this still doesn't fall short of your modern action figures so still really possible the material is great the plastic that is used is not soft and rubbery but solid the cape is nicely constructed and it is um, designed in such a way as not to impede the articulation of the figure and it does not throw the balance of the figure off unlike your McFarlane action figures wherein the um, action figures would really have fancy capes that you would really need a figure stand or base for them because if you don't use any base it's going to the figure is going to topple over i mean so great looking action figure let's get the other figures that i have on board uh, the uh, movie masters especially the joker figure which i've been really reserving with this batman figure Movie Masters Batman and Movie Masters Joker 
Movie Masters Batman Begins and Movie Masters Dark Knight Returns Batman. So we have Batman Begins Movie Masters with two Dark Knight Return custom Batman figures that I have on board. So this is configured to a Batman Beyond. This is configured with a custom cloth cape that is wired on the ends for posability. So this ends my video with this Movie Masters Batman Begins action figure. So if you like my video, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.